guys welcome to excited for coupons my name is jasmine and welcome to my channel this one is going to be this video is going to be about 11 tips how to pay off your debt and maybe just 11 tips how to help you um get more money and improve your finances so you could be on your way to money freedom i really like the dave ramsey method i tried that back in 2012 is one that i'm still applying today in fact we gave a class about it with the new book that he has from the Financial Peace University and I really enjoyed and applied and still believe and still do it today a lot of the um, methods that I did learn from Dave Ramsey including the cash envelope system and also the um, the debt the snowball method uh, that one really helped us pay our debt but a lot of the times you feel so tight and you'll be you're wondering how I'm able to pay off my debt when I'm already struggling um, I'm trying to work nine to five and I'm living paycheck to paycheck. But then I realized once I put all my finances together, I put all my statements, my bank statements, and I realized that I have a lot of debt. That was our case. We were debt over $40,000. And in our blog, we, we, did, we put $31,000 uh, over debt. But once we started realizing we were $40,000 uh, over um in debt so here are 11 tips and things you could do to work actually with the money that you're receiving paycheck to paycheck make it work pay off that debt and be on the road to money freedom so once we well one thing is key before you find out how much you're in debt how would you know if you're in debt what you need to do first is get your statements together your bank statements together if you have one bank or two or three put them together and then month by month get together three to six months and then start um, applying all those expenses into categories if you're dining out put them in the dining out if it was just a groceries put them in the groceries column and on the categories and that way you'll be able to know exactly how much you're spending per month on each category that's how we were able to see that our grocery was one of the highest the top um, expense besides mortgage and so setting number one setting a budget on grocery is key why because if we were spending 500 to 700 dollars a month and we had nothing to show for meaning that we were just spending items just on the grocery store name brand uh, not even name brand, just brand from Walmart, spending a few hundred dollars every time we go to Sam's just with the, just a few items. Uh, it does add up really quickly. So that's when after I did that, I put my finances in order. Then I did step number one, which was attack my grocery. It's since I know that that expense was too high and it was too much and it was kind of like bleeding our our uh, finances we knew we needed to tackle that and that's when couponing came in i'm not suggesting for you to go um extreme couponer but if you're able to follow some deals stock up on some items that you do need and you do purchase i'm not going to tell you to purchase everything that's on special if you don't need it the point is for you to be to go out of debt uh, to save more money but there's a lot of items that we do need that goes on special every week and you can start stocking up on that and you can learn that on this channel as well and also on excitedforcoupons.com i try to provide all those items that you may need from uh, places like the supermarket also like the drugstore and sometimes it's best off getting it from the drugstore so if you start setting a budget for that and bringing down that expense that will be your way to getting uh yourself out of debt so uh, one of the methods that Dave Ramsey does talk about and if you're interested you want to know more about the Dave Ramsey method that we use and apply um, then just leave a comment if you really want to see a video about that so one of the things that we did was apply the cash envelope so now we were putting uh, our but I love something about Dave Ramsey that he says you tell the money where to go the money shouldn't tell you where it should go uh, so then we started classifying since we saw that our expenses in groceries was between 500 to 700 so we tried on uh, to create a budget of 500 then we realized that with couponing we were able to only spend 200 so right there we're saving uh, between 300 to 500 dollars a month uh, just doing couponing bringing that grocery budget down and using the cash envelope meaning we don't go over uh, number two 
creating a budget on dining out. Our second highest expense on our part was dining out. Uh, sometimes you feel like, oh, we, we don't go to fancy restaurants, we don't overspend. Maybe we only go once or two times a month, um, but that was in our case. Our case was both. We would go down, dine out, dining out fancy, but then sometimes uh, it would just be like places we love Chick-fil-A and we would just get the menu and then we would upgrade it to get the milkshake for the family of four. And before you know it, we, we were spending over 20 to $25 a week, uh, sometimes just in one day, just in Chick-fil-A alone. So that was our second one that we needed to attack and if you're like us and maybe you are dining out a lot there is ways for you to cut back on that um we started getting the calendar from chick-fil-a they no longer have that we started installing the app from chick-fil-a we earn points and with those points we redeem them to get free items every i'm gonna tell you like almost every month they just pop a, a free item in our uh, chick-fil-a app so those, those are free items and now we are getting points and we're finding ways how to get things free. Um, other ways was uh, the Shopcake app, app. The Shopcake app, uh, just for scanning items in the store, just from walking to a store, we're getting points and we redeem those points for different gift cards that we use for dining out. So there's different ways for you to actually cut back on that expense. Don't limit yourself from going there, but just find ways how you can get it for a lot less. Uh, number three, number three, say big, say big when shopping out. We started finding there was a lot of deals in Macy's, JCPenney, Kohl's, um, Target, you name it. There's always coupons, there's always deals. You get back gift cards. There's apps like Raise.com. I'm going to provide that in, our, in the description box if you're interested. And a lot of the times we will go to JCPenney or Macy's, they will have uh, gift cards. Um, it, it will tell you right now this gift card is worth 25 but you can get it for 15 right there we're saving um and we had another app called survey.com and this app it does take a long time before you read you get some good points but um just for having the app i don't even open it i just have the app on my phone and it will know when i'm in a store so let's say it will know it will ask me were you in jc penny questions and then it will say here's a coupon 10 off 25. so since my husband has the app too we both will get coupons so the next time we will shop at jc penny we use that coupon we sometimes were able to use a coupon uh, from the store from emails um and then we go to raise we use a gift card that's worth 25 but we spent 15 for an example so there's a lot of ways that you could cut back on your shopping and save even more money also that shop kit Shopkick app came in handy when our kids were going to back to school and we were really tight in the budget and we needed to buy them uh, brand new sneakers, the book bag and all that stuff and Shopkick was, was one of those apps that we would go to Target scan, a lot of items got points, walking to the store got points and we were able to redeem those gift cards for Target, uh, Foot Locker I believe and other places so uh, i believe they have jc penny they have a, a range of different stores that you could use and redeem those points for number four energy saver this one is you may not know how much you're able to save in electricity we had in our house it was a a, a house of two floors had two different uh, ac units had five bedrooms and it just consumed a lot of uh, light so then once we call our um, utilities our utility company they send uh, an employee to a professional to check how we could cut back on our energy and what they suggested was to cut back on the AC during the day have the AC between 82 and 85 and that's exactly what we did and that brought down our bill for almost a hundred dollars less a month so uh, the energy saver find out how I am writing a post so many ways you're able to bring down your energy saver bill so uh, if you're interested to see a video on that just leave that in the comment section number five DIY a lot of times you want to kind of like make home improvements and change things in our house we created our own backsplash and we were going to pay a professional to do it I found a video on YouTube how to do it and I found codes 
uh, promo codes uh, from local places uh, to buy the tiles and the and the supplies and we only pay two hundred dollars from with the materials and the backsplash that we selected and we made it ourselves um, so we only paid two hundred dollars with everything included so that was pretty good so DIY is really worth it another item we did we love to do some woodworks so instead of us buying uh, benches or wood items we make it ourselves there was this wood bench that we did for our bedroom it only cost us ten dollars this was our last project this is a mantle that I wanted and I think that cost us just in the materials about seventy to eighty dollars I believe um, but of course you have a lot of wood pieces left so DIY is key and it will save you a lot of money Uh, number six entertainment movie theater um this is one that we were able to also save a thousand dollars a year there was one year that i kept track of all the movies we saw and how much we have saved by not paying for those tickets um it came out to a thousand six hundred we've been doing this i think since 2012 or 13 i don't remember right now but it's, it's been with that back i did a video about it how to recently how to see movies for free and that's a way that we were able to cut back and it was a family of four so we invited other people too we got tickets for them and we able to see movies before the release for free so right there we were able to save about a thousand six hundred but if we see all the movies that we want that we got tickets for it would have been triple that do we just selected which movies we're going to go see Number seven, cash back is your friend. eBay just changed their name, but that's one that is good. Top cash back. Ibota is an app on your phone that they're giving you cash back. A lot of places are giving you cash back right now. And what I do is I don't stick to one company. I see which one is giving me more for my money. So, and a lot of the times top cash back is the one that's giving me more. So that's the one that I usually use. Uh, sometimes Ibota is the app on the phone and just for shopping online, I'm gonna be getting some money. It does add up. So if you don't know much about top cash back, I'm gonna leave you I'm gonna leave that information in the description box. That way you can select it. And they usually give you an incentive just for starting and redeeming and ordering online. Ten dollars gonna be added to your account. Number eight, this one saved us about three hundred dollars a year, which is mow our own lawn. Um, in the, especially in the summer, sometimes you have to mow your lawn once a week and that could really add up. So if you mow your own lawn and that was something that my husband did with the kids and that was pretty interesting. That's how they started kind of like writing their own, right, driving something so young. Um, but it was interesting. I know it could be a little bit hot, especially in Florida, but mowing your own lawn is key and it will help and it will save you money throughout the year. Number nine is coffee. Oh my gosh, you could spend so much coffee, so much money on coffee alone. And I'm a drinker. I will drink two or three times a day. So imagine if I buy three times in a day, that will be fifteen dollars. Could you imagine how much that will be in a year? So what I do is I love Dunkin' Donuts. What I do is I will make it at home, but I also will get some from the Dunkin' Donuts. There is this app called Moby. Um, this one just gives me a few points um, for answering a few things, going to a store as well, and doing kind of like a review or letting them know what's on stock, simple stuff like that. I will get 200, 300 points depending on the task, and I will always redeem um, my points for gift cards of Dunkin' Donuts. So. If you're interested in Moby app, I'm going to provide that as well. I always find ways. I'm, I'm like, I'm going to cut back, but I really love that place. So I find ways to make it work. And number 10, um, this one is side hustles. We started, I did a video about mystery shopper. Oh my, when we were really in, 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 in debt, uh, it was, it was shocking. It was. It, I, I couldn't believe we owe that much money and and we were going paycheck to paycheck we were trying to make it work we took a break on vacation we there was no luxury nothing like that um it was really hard and um 
well, I needed to find other ways how we can make it work and through couponing really helped us. It brought down a lot of money a year and all those tips helped us a lot. And another thing we did was mystery shopper. Once we, the, we were in sometimes just couponing in places that um, mystery shoppers will give you, hey, just check if the uh, rack has these products, take a picture, $5 for that, $7, $10, $12, $20. Um, and we started doing mystery shopper and we easily earn up to now. I have like $500 that we have uh, uh, received and my, I will put out how much my husband has on this section. Um, just using the app and it was worth it we did needed that money and side hustles from mystery shopper uh, I did a video the top seven because we had so many but these are the top seven that I feel like are worth having I'm gonna provide the video on this section but on a new side hustle that we have is uh, DoorDash, Instacart, Uber, Uber Eat uh, there's a new one that my husband has called Posh something <laughs> I'm gonna provide all those in the description box as well. Um, Amazon Flex, and those are, and we have two new ones that we haven't tried out yet. We just got approved on, but we tr we're gonna test it out. If you're really interested in those side hustles, how they really work, or come behind the scenes, you wanna see those videos, I'm telling you, just leave the comment in below so that way I'll know you're interested on that video. So that's number 10, the side hustles and mystery shopper really, really are helping us boost that income and so that way we're able to use that money to pay off our debt. And number 11 is free magazine subscription. We used to pay sometimes for a subscription. It could really add up in a year. It might say, oh, just pay $5 a month or $12 a month. Doesn't seem like a lot, but once you add it, I could have used that money on something else. And when we started couponing, I started receiving so many free magazines. I started subscribing and never I had to give my credit card information. So if you're interested in that, um, I'm gonna, that's another tip that you should keep in mind on. That way you're not spending money on subscriptions. So these are the top 11 ways you could cut back on, on cut back and get that money for you to pay off your debt or maybe get that money for you to uh, raise that emergency fund or for you to save or for you to go and you said on traveling if that's your passion so i hope you enjoyed this video um if you have any uh, any one of these tips that you really want to know more about just leave that in the comment section and i will work on doing a video for you so thank you so much for watching and until the next video bye